Hey guys and welcome to a new video tutorial on how to use Astro Panel Tool X. In this video tutorial we'll explain some functions for reducing and filtering stars and how to use the nebula filter to highlight the gaseous details of a nebula or constellation. In the first part we'll use the filter and reduce filters of the Milky Way tab to highlight the gaseous part of the Milky Way and filter out the stars. In the second part, we'll use the nebula filter and the other filters in the stars tab on an image with the Rosetta Nebula. In the first image, we have a Milky Way that is composed of 10 light frames, 3 dark frames, and 15 bias frames. To highlight the gaseous part of the Milky Way, I usually use the filters located under the stars menu then filter. In combination with reduce. These filters can be customized by reducing the layer opacity and reducing the strength of the effect. Let's do a before and after then let's go and create a group. Let's name it Reduce Stars and do before and after, before and after. This way we've kept the largest stars in the picture, the stars that are part of the constellations, and dimmed and reduced the diameter of all the others. By doing this work, you can clearly see all the gaseous part that the Milky Way is made up of. As for a deep sky image, the Rosette Nebula, we have to go to the Deep Sky tab and click on Nebula. If we do a before and after, first you see many more stars and the gaseous part is hidden. Then the stars are filtered and reduced in diameter and the gaseous part of the nebula is emphasized. Here are some tips to make the most of these Astro Panel features. You can read the instruction manual that you find in PDF inside the folder that you download after purchase to understand how the other functions work. Thanks for watching.